Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about the excitation tables of flip flops. Excitation tables are very very important when you are going to convert one flip flop to another flip flop. The purpose of excitation tables is to convert one flip flop to one flip flop to another flip flop one flip flop to another flip flop suppose i want to convert an sr flip flop to jk flip flop and jk flip flop to d flip flop d flip flop to t flip flop in such conversions we can use these excitation tables to get the expression for the input okay i will tell how to do that first what do you mean by excitation table excitation table refers to the estimation of refers to the estimation of the input value based upon the present state and next state based upon the present state and next state excitation table is used to estimate the present input based on present state and next state okay so excitation table main purpose is to estimate the input estimate the input value expression for the input value like whatever the conversion we are doing that at that input we can estimate based upon the present state and next state present state and next state are nothing but present state is present state means qn and next state means qn plus 1 okay present state means qn next state means qn plus 1 okay so one thing you have to remember that before going into the excitation tables you should very well know about the truth tables of those flip flops okay as we are having four flip flops sr flip flop jk flip flop d and t flip flops when you are going to derive the excitation tables you should know the truth table without knowing the truth table you cannot uh, derive the excitation tables okay so first for sr flip flop for sr flip flop okay on the left hand side i will draw the truth table because truth table is the main source for our excitation table truth table qn s r qn plus 1 okay Zero, 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 one, zero, one, zero, zero, one, one. And similarly, one, zero, 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 one, one, zero, one, one. Now, zero, zero means it maintains the previous state. So, previous state here it is zero, so zero. Zero, one means zero. One, zero means one. One, one means indeterminate state. And zero zero previous state one zero one zero one zero one and one one means indeterminate state. This is the truth table of SR flip flop which we already know. Okay, now coming to the excitation table. Now excitation table we are going to derive from the truth table as C. Excitation table means what are the inputs now? Present state and next state. Present state and next state present state is qn next state is qn plus 1 so that we are going to estimate the inputs required inputs required inputs s and r you should understand the difference between the excitation table and truth table
okay in excitation table we are estimating the uh, input conditions based upon the present state and next state but whereas in the truth table we are having the input conditions and based upon the we are identifying what is the next state okay opposite case excitation table and truth table are both are opposite cases we are coming back from the output to the input here and here in the truth table we are going from input to the output okay so take 0 0 0 1 because only two inputs are there four combinations will come 1 0 1 1 so 0 0 look here when present state is equal to 0 when the output condition will be 0 see when present state is equal to 0 that means here when the output is 0 take output conditions when it is 0 here one case and here also one, another case when present state is equal to 0 in the remaining cases such situation is not there do you understand see when qn is equal to 0 qn plus 1 is equal to also 0 only occurs in these two cases as per our requirement okay qn equal to 0 qn plus 1 equal to 0 qn equal to 0 qn plus 1 equal to 0 and the remaining cases it is not there but this type of situation occurs in two cases one is s equal to 0 r equal to 0 s equal to 0 r equal to 1 s is common so s is common we are taking s is equal to 0 what about the r r is not a constant value r is a variable one time it is 0 one time it is 1 so whatever may be the r value so for any value of r for any value of r s is equal to 0 so 0 0 this condition will occur 0 1 this condition is occurring this is the first condition and second condition qn is equal to 0 output is 1 qn is equal to 0 output is 1 where it is see qn is equal to 0 output is 1 this is occur only in this state qn is equal to 0 output is 1 only this is the available situation there is no other situation see clearly okay then what is the available condition of 1 0 so that's why s equal to 1 and r is equal to 0 directly if it is not uh, multiple times repeated then we can directly take the exact input whatever is available there next qn is equal to 1 qn plus 1 is equal to 0 qn equal to 1 see here qn plus 1 equal to 0 only this is the available condition so output is s and r are 0 and 1 next 1 1 both conditions are 1 and 1 the present state output and here it is one situation here it is another situation okay this one and this one these two so these two what happens 1 1 in that case s equal to 1 r equal to 0 in another case s equal to 0 r equal to 1 r equal to 0 so r is fixed here 0 but s is varying so that's why we are taking the don't care for any value of s with r equal to 0 that will give you present state 1 output to q1 plus 1 next state is also 1 this is the derivation of excitation table for the sr flip flop okay similarly we will see the next uh, flip flop for jk flip flop for jk flip flop so first let us take the truth table see without truth table you, i hope you understood without truth table you cannot derive the excitation table truth table so qn j k qn plus 1 0 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 0 0 next 1 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 so q and plus 1 0 0 means previous state 0 0 1 means 0 1 0 means 1 1 1 means complement for the previous state and again 0 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 1 1 means complement for the previous state 
this is the truth table of jk flip flop now excitation table excitation table in that we have to consider the present state next state and then required inputs so excitation table present state next state and required inputs so qn qn plus 1 required inputs are now j and k okay so we are estimating what could be the j and k values depending upon the present state and next state okay so there are four possible conditions that we will be having in this okay so now 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 so 0 0 when the input uh, present state is 0 and next state is equal to 0 this is one condition this is another condition sorry sorry okay 0 0 and again here it is 0 here it is 0 in these two conditions we have this particular situation both present state and next state are zeros in that case j is common Zero, but k is variable. That's why k is don't care condition. And again, zero one. Zero one also occurs in two different cases. So zero one occurs here. Zero, it is one. Here it is zero. It is also one. So in this case, it is one and don't care. One and don't care. Next, one zero. See one zero where it happens. One zero, one zero. This is one. This is zero. This is one. This is zero. In these two cases. we are having one time it is 0 1 another time it is 1 1 1 so it is don't care one don't care one next 1 1 1 1 1 this is 1 1 and this is 1 1 this is 1 in these two situations 0 0 1 0 so don't care 0 this is the excitation table of the jk flip flop Okay, just we need to check which state the Q one and Q one plus one are having this particular situation. So if it is common, directly we can note it down. Otherwise, if it is variable, then we have to take it as cross. Nothing but don't care. And similarly, for D flip flop. So in D flip flop, truth table. Q n d Q n plus one zero 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 one one zero one one. Okay, so press uh, d is equal to zero, output equal to zero, d equal to one, output equal to one, d equal to zero, output is zero, d equal to one, output equal to one. Here d input will not depend upon the previous state. Whatever the d value, that will be the output. Okay. Next, excitation table. So, excitation table for this one is present state Q n, Q n plus one, and estimated input that is D. Zero zero, zero one, one zero, one one. So, zero zero. Zero zero occurs only one time. In that case, output is equal to zero. And zero one. See here the same two table you can consider these two. And you can note down as D is because the D is equal to output. D is equal to output. Okay, acceleration table is for D flip flop. It is very easy. And similarly, the last one for T flip flop. Or T flip flop. So truth table. Q 
qn t qn plus 1 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 so t equal to 0 means same as previous state and 1 means complement 0 means same as previous state 1 means complement <coughs> this is the truth table of this t flip law now excitation table see in excitation table you are taking the present state qn next state qn plus 1 and estimated input t you can write you can write it as present state next state and required input okay <coughs> 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 so 0 0 where it occurs 0 0 means 0 0 1 0 1 occurs when it is 1 0 1 occurs when it is 1 and the next we are having 1 0 1 0 case occurs when it is 1 1 0 case occurs when t is equal to 1 and 1 1 case occurs when it is 0 okay this is the excitation table of the truth uh, t flip flop okay this is very easy see once we obtain the excitation tables from the truth tables then we can easily convert one flip flop to another flip flop okay in the next video i will explain how to convert a flip flops from one to another thank you